And there's a dead skunk. <laughs> this little dude's dead. He's all stiff. But uh, yeah, I managed to make it out here, try to catch the sunset. I found the perfect spot right next to that dead skunk. But uh, yeah, welcome to the video. Um, we have a little bit of sunlight left, so I'm gonna try to make this video pretty quick. Um, the intention for this video is just to show you guys off, um, well, show off the car basically. I haven't had a video showing off the car. Uh, we're gonna make it quick because I don't think I'm supposed to be parked here, so hopefully a cop doesn't pass by. But um, yeah, this is the car, 1990 Honda Civic Si. So it came with a sunroof. Um, I really like the sunroof and it works fully and everything. Um, what else? So the stock single cam is no longer in the vehicle. Um, I cracked the valve in it a long ass time ago. And uh, yeah, I went to HMO and ended up getting a B16. Um, so this is what I have in it now. It's a B16 basically with just bolt-ons. Um, I have a Skunk 2 intake manifold with a 70 millimeter Skunk 2 throttle body. Um, right now I have the stock exhaust manifold with a cat back exhaust. The cat's still in the car, so it's relatively quiet. Um, and the exhaust is a cat back uh, Tanabe Medallion Touring. So it's a pretty quiet car. It's not too loud or raspy. Um, for cooling, um, I have a Mishimoto radiator full size. Um, I think this one's off a of DA, so I can run a B-series uh, size hose. Um, innovative traction bar at the bottom. This is the new one, the V2, I think. And uh, still have the battery in the stock location. I kind of like it having there in the engine bay. Um, through For the uh, intake, I have an AEM cold air intake. It feeds down. Um, and I have the JDM front end on right now. So um, I, I do have the JDM fog lights. It's just I like running them without it because um, the intake is right there. So when I'm driving, you can kind of see it, but you can see that there's cold air going straight into the intake kind of hard to see kind of dark but um i thought that was pretty cool so i'm not running the fog lights right now plus i'm kind of scared to crack them um uh, running hasport mounts um no power steering no ac um the car didn't come with power steering at all so it was pretty cool um steering's not too heavy you kind of get used to it um but yeah that's pretty much it um it's the same trans so it's a b16 trans with an lsd that i put into it um and that's pretty much it for the engine. It's just stock, running a, on a stock uh, P28 ECU chip with a B16 base map for now, until I get Honda. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much for the engine bay. Alrighty, and for the wheels, um, recently I was able to find these. Uh, these are Volt CE28s. Um, so they're OG bronze finish. Um, the eight spoke ones. Um, I, I, I really like these because they're you don't really see them often and they've been discontinued for a while now. So um, once I saw these for sale, I kind of hopped on them, got them for an okay price. But um, it's a 15 by seven, four by 100 bolt pattern. And the offset I believe is 35. Um, so if I ever upgraded back to spoons, which I used to have, I think they'll clear. Um, for a tire, I'm just running a 205 50 15. Um, before I used to run a lot of aggressive tires like Toyo r Blades and Falcon Azenis. Um, I really like those tires, but driving to la for a lot of shows and, and meets and stuff like that they kind of wore pretty quick i used to change out r triple eight r's like four times a year but it, it's a really nice looking tire and it grips very well but just for changing tires that shit's expensive <laughs> so um for now i'm just running an all season tire it's the toyo extenso all season i think these have been discontinued already so after these wear out i'm probably gonna go back to a, a zenny's because I, I really like the look of those but um, also, for the car, I did a CRX rear disc conversion, so I no longer have drums. Um, it's, it's a CRX rotor with the caliper and everything. Uh, for the rear, uh, I do have like a Jay's Racing replica wing. Um, this one's on eBay that I found. Um, a guy makes carbon fiber versions, they're a little more expensive, but this one is fiberglass and it doesn't have the third brake light, but it still has that same Jay's Racing kind of shape. Kind of like the dimension it gives the car. But uh, that's the wing, and it's cool because it doesn't go over the stock one. You take off the stock one and it bolts directly where the stock one does. So it's just four bolts holding on and it's pretty sturdy. Um, rear of the car, it's just a stock SI taillights. Um, I haven't bought EF9 ones yet. Um, stock center garnish. Um, there's a Tanabe medallion exhaust. You can see it on the bottom, it has a full-size muffler. <clears throat> 
um, but that's pretty much it for the exterior um, on the interior I have a spoon sports steering wheel that I had signed by Tatsuru Uchishima um, when he came down for the iHeart Honda Festival that was a pretty cool moment so I, I don't think I'll ever sell the steering wheel because it has a signature um, running a uh, Downstar titanium steering wheel bolts with a Momo hub no quick release because I like the look of just having the steering wheel on there um, for the shift knob I'm just running a, I think this is a stock RSX shift knob 5 speed um, they're like 30 bucks and they're still available brand new so I got that from ICB I think it looks good in the interior complements it very well um, stock shifter I used to have a hybrid racing one but I got to a point where I thought I was going to sell the car so I sold it regrettingly um, for, but for now it's just a stock shifter with an ITR shift boot um, stock seats um, typical 90 Civic bolster wear so I kind of put these iron on patches they're kind of faded already though I'm gonna have to redo these um, but other than that the seats are pretty clean there's no other tears besides this bolster um, on the passenger side no rips or tears at all which is cool um, for the cluster I am running the uh, EDM cluster without the EDM uh, speedometer I do have the speedometer but for some reason when I put it on it wasn't working very well so um, I'm just running the tack which goes up to 9000 and then the fuel and temperature gauge so you could tell they're orange needles and then the USDM one is a white needle. Uh, I'm gonna try to find another speedometer because the speedometer is pretty cool. It goes up to 150, the EDM one, not this one. This one only goes up to 120. But um, yeah, that's the cluster with LED bulbs. I also changed all the bulbs in there too, just to make it look a little nicer. Uh, for interior, that's pretty much, oh, forgot the, the most recent acquired purchase. So I got these EF9 rear seats that I've been trying to find for the longest time. Um, I finally got them. They were kind of expensive, but it was one of the things I really wanted to do with this car. Um, so yeah, I got the EF9 seats. They're pristine condition, I think. Um, but yeah, they look pretty nice, and I love the headrest on them. That just looks so cool to me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much for the interior. Nothing crazy. Um, on the forgot to mention that on the front and the rear, I do have the Spoon Sport strut bars. Sorry, I got a long board in there. But um, I do have the Spoon Sport strut bars on the front and the rear. Um, you can rewind to the engine bay shot, but it's pretty. I, I, I love the spoon parts, they're just great. Um, they, it's hard to find a rear strut bar for these. Um, so I, I, this one's off of an EG. Um, it still mounts up the same. I just had to do a bit of trimming just so it could fit with the, with the plastic and everything. But other than that, I think it looks okay. The brackets do hang off a little bit because they're for an EG. But um, I just like having the strut bar there. I think it's a good complement to the interior, especially in the engine bay. And last but not least, this is part, probably one of the hardest things to find for this um, chassis, which is the JDM front end. Um, I took, a, I spent probably like, a, I have, I've had the car for probably like five years now but a good majority of the time owning this car um, once i started modifying it a big thing for me was finding the jdm front end to me it just looks a whole lot better and it's pretty cool knowing that you have something this rare on the car um, i found it pretty clean before the bumper was white um, i painted it myself and it didn't come out that bad um, one other thing is that usually you'll see people run the ef9 front end and on the EF9 front end, uh, it's hard to find them with the circle fog lights. Usually they'll come square or with no fog lights at all, but this is a big thing that I found. Um, I'm also running the little red stripe just to make it look a little more JDM, which I like. Also, I'm running the trim on the, on the sides too, but uh, I think that's pretty much it for the car, just a B16. Eventually, um, I'm working on swapping it again with a B18C5 that I have in the garage. That's gonna be coming up in the next videos. Um, but definitely stay tuned. Um, it's pretty fun driving out here, trying to catch the sunset. It's getting a little dark now, but um, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, just a little walk around of the car. I know this video was kind of overdue, um, but yeah, I'm trying to get back into vlogging and everything. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to put like two videos out a year. And at the end of the year, I wanna see where we're at in terms of the channel. I know right now I have about 263 subscribers. So we're gonna to try to grow that to a thousand. That's the next goal. Um, if you guys like the content today, definitely give it a like. 
um, share with your friends if you if they like Hondas and stuff like that. Um, there's going to be more coming to the channel. Like I said, I'm going to be swapping this from a B16 to a Type R, and it's going to be a B18, B18 C5 that I just bought recently um, from a friend in San Diego. Um, so it's off the 2000 spec USDM Integra Type R, and that's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be going from a 1.6 to a 1.8 with a 9K RPM redline. So that's going to make this thing pretty fun. But yeah, stay tuned. Thank you for watching and you guys have a good day. Oh, and one more thing. Everybody give a rip to my homie. Um, his name's Felipe, but RIP to the homie Felipe. Featured on the video.